Hey guys, it's Clio here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, the things for water bending, like all the commands and stuff for water bending. So, um, yeah, um, for the first one, actually, wait, um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use water bending and all the moves and stuff, and some of the commands too, okay? So, yeah, bring it back. Okay, so, um, the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is the simplest one, and it's pretty much just this. Um, wait till the, okay. So, this is called a water spout, and what this does is it allows you to pretty much walk on water, like this. So that you actually pretty much walk above, and this is pretty good for escaping enemies, I'm lagging. But yeah, it's good for escaping enemies, and I'll be right back. Actually, never mind. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, so it's pr good for escaping enemies if they're traveling you, and you're like, just trying to escape. You do this, you get high, and you also like just do better overall because you escape and everything. Okay, so um, yeah. I also at night um, the um night actually increases your water burning, so that you can go higher. Okay, so um, that's water bending, and then the second one. Well, water bending also has two things. What it does is um, here, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the thing. Okay, so um, yeah, um, water spot also allows you to um, walk like this in water, and you also can jump pretty high. I don't know the amount of blocks that you can do it to, but, um, so, yeah. That's pretty much water spout, and the next one I'm going to be showing you is, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so, for an easy way of checking to see if this works, what you can do is a simple little thing. Um, you can actually just go up with the, um, this is also good for MC, P, like, MC top servers. So, pretty much all you do is you just walk off into the land. And bam, you shouldn't lose hearts and you'll get like that in acrobatics. But to show you this, this is called healing waters. And what healing waters does is when you walk into water with the healing bar selected, it will actually give you regeneration too. And it will keep on doing that until your hearts are full. It'll go off and then come back on until your hearts are full. Actually, it happens when your hearts are full. So it just goes away for a while until you're at the next damage. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you use regeneration, like, um, healing waters, right? And that's all the commands that I use for it. Actually, it wasn't even commands, like, that's pretty much everything there is for healing waters, right? And so, yeah, I'll be right back. Never mind, no. Alright, well, okay, the next one is, let me check. Oh, um, for the commands, yeah, I haven't done that. I'm going to do the commands last, okay, so. Oh, give me a second. Okay, I got him. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys Surge. Now, Surge is the ones that I really like. It's um, it's like a shield. See? Wait for it. Give me a second. Let me find a spot of ripper. All right, this is pretty just be good. All right, so. Um, wrong thing. See, a shield. And now, if I, um simply click again it will become ice awesome you can switch back come back and back pretty fun if you don't want someone to get near you or something and then it also does this if you shift in while at the source block and then click it sends a wave so maybe I'll get one without that happening okay so shift okay. shift for the water and then click and then it sends a wave. If you click again, I think it becomes ice and it traps. I've never, I haven't done that yet. Okay, so yeah, that's that surge. And now we're gonna show you guys turrent. And turrent, what turrent does is turrent's pretty much the main fighting force for water mining. Okay, so um, 
how you use turn is you uh, it's pretty simple here let me go back to that sh one block I was at okay okay so what this does is if you click the water now shift the looking away from the water it creates this little thing th like this okay so um Okay, so you see this? Now this is the fighting force. If you just click, it'll get sent in, the, in a direction. Direction. And then it will use its attack. So watch. Click. Now you see it was sent going away. So I think there is one more actually. I think it's just like let go. Yeah, if you let go, then it just like sends the thing out. So get people away from you, back in them up. So click, shift, let go, and it does that. Okay, so, um, let me turn my sound down. You guys probably didn't hear just hear what I said. So what I said was, shift, click, and let go. Shift, click. Actually, no, it's click, shift, and let go. Boom, all right? Okay, so, the next one I'm going to be showing you guys isn't really my favorite. It's simple, very simple. It's just, I think it's like click. Yeah, it's just shift and click for ice. You can see it's traveling slowly. Now, there is one more. I'm just not very much of a mastermind at it. But it makes a little six block thing. And um, let me check how you use it. Um, okay, this is the building, and I'll be back. Okay, I got it. It's um, five. Okay, so if you just shift, I don't know. All right, well, So, um, yeah, you guys pretty much get Ice Spike. I mean, I don't really recommend Ice Spike. It's not really that helpful. I mean, if you're trying to get PvP and, like, you just can't do it with the, um, turret, then you'll just switch to that, alright? Okay, so, okay, for six, it's just a click and a shift. Actually, no, this creates, like, a little octopus. As you guys can see, it's an octopus. That's the inside of an octopus. As you guys can see, the little legs sticking out on the sides that are little, the little stair kind of things. And the inside's the inside. That's pretty much that. See, it does that. Okay. And then this one is pretty much one of my favorites for escaping someone. All you gotta do is just click, and it creates this ice on where you're running. So if you just click wherever, it'll create a bunch of ice on where you're running. And then if this ice gets in the way, then you can just shift and it all will go away. See, shift, 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 and it's all disappearing. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much what that is for the, um, what's that one called? I think it's called, uh, it's called phase change. Okay. So, for water manipulation, I'm not really, a, well, I don't think this one works. Well, it does. This is pretty much what I know for. I only shift in the water and then click it. I think it's a little weaponry thing. Like click in the water. Just shift water, click. And then, oh, that's cool. It actually goes up and then it goes, that's cool. I didn't know about that. Okay, so, yeah. The next one I'm going to be showing you guys is the last one. And some people aren't such a big fan of this, but I think this is actually pretty cool. For PvP, like, sometimes, if someone's getting in your way or something, you can just, like, go change your thing, and then you can sneak up on them, and then just randomly click to the water bubble thing. And then it immediately makes a water bubble. See, he took damage. It's good for getting people to fa take fall damage and stuff if they're in water, so I use this a lot. I mean, sure, it gets in my way sometimes, but you can also, like, mine clay and stuff.